Ibrahim, he's Turkish speaker, but he's not very literate, even in Turkish. And his schooling was probably very hit and miss before he came into this school. So he came with no English to speak of, one or two words. And he's only just coming out of what we call the silent period. It's 8.40 and time for Ibrahim's first lesson, okay. drama. Teachers often at first think, well, let's, let's, let's you know, send them off to a, to a class or somebody can do a special class and teach them enough English and then they'll cope. But what is enough English to cope? Uh, the sort of English that you need is the English of the classroom because it's the academic English that you need. And the only place to really learn that is inside the classroom. Drama teacher Chris Odes ensures that Ibrahim is included in the lesson by interpreting keywords for him. And it's trying to get out of your hands. This blind little rabbit. Do you, do you know what that is in Turkish? Yeah. Do you mind saying? Tavşan. Yeah. And stroke it. There you go. Open your eyes and let it be there. And it's trying to crawl over you, so you have to keep it there. And pairing him up with other Turkish speakers in the class. Seven. Very good. And stop. Look on, if you want to do it in Turkish or English or mix both of them, I don't mind. So if you want okay. to do that. Ibrahim has one to one support for his Turkish. Learning to read and write in his first language will help his literacy in English and could get him a GCSE too. If they do an early entry in, in a community language and they can go into their GCSEs or, or other qualifications thinking, oh, well, I've already got one and uh, I'm sure I can do really well in the others. Tubica, I've identified as gifted. Um, she's a very bright English as literal language child. She's been in the country about six months. She came from Germany. She was originally a um, Twi speaker, so English is her third language. She's getting support and she's going to use that support and she can turn it into some really good GCSEs, A-levels, university, the sky's the limit with Tubica. Germany. In Germany, it was like more like European. I was like different, like from all of them, because they were all the same, and I was like different from color and everything. The best thing is that you have so many different cultures and so many different people from different um, countries, so that you get to know them really well, and everyone is like nice and encouraging and coming. And like, even if if I'm lost or something, someone will come all the time and then like ask, "Are you alright?" And then help me to find the rooms. And even at the first, I had two friends. They helped me to get around the school. It's English, and the class is looking at the job interview topic that Tubica prepared earlier in learning support. That doesn't make sense because you already get paid more, isn't it? You told that. So what ones are we doing so far? Um, we put experience. Um, they have to have office work um, earlier experience, and they know how, um, how to work in an office with other people. So that's the most important. I came from Poland um, nearly one year. In Poland I had a um, best friend and her name was uh, Margaret. Me and my sister, um, we had two dogs and um, we was quite upset when we was have to um, come to London because we was have to leave them. Um, when we came first time to London, um, it was quite hard for us because um, we, were, we wasn't know this language and uh, it was hard for us to talk in English and to understand someone. Jasia, czy możesz nam powiedzieć o swoim życiu w szkole w Polsce, zanim przyjechałaś tutaj do Anglii? Zanim przyjechałam do Anglii, um, odnowili naszą szkolną bibliotekę i założyliśmy z razem z naszą panią bibliotekarką um, taki klub, w którym pomagaliśmy dzieciom z zerówki i pierwszej klasy uczyć się czytać. 
Zbieraliśmy też z, na, z naszą klasą na konia, który miał pójść na rzeź, a, na rzeź, ale nam się udało go odkupić od stadniny, która chciała go wydać, bo był bardzo chory. I odkupiliśmy. The main reason I was involved was because of my mother tongue, obviously. Um, and um, I was asked to come in and um, listen to the girls, assess their vocabulary, the way they speak. Uh, particular words connected with the subjects that they were talking about, um, the length of sentences, and the time that they took to answer the question. W czasie jak, jak byłaś w Polsce w szkole, jakie przedmioty najbardziej lubiłaś? Najbardziej lubiłam informatykę, ponieważ wiele ciekawych rzeczy o komputerach się dowiedziałam. Lubiłam też bardzo polski, ponieważ um, na zadanie domowe mieliśmy na przykład napisać jakiś wiersz albo one of the things we're looking for, obviously, is the language in which the pupil replies. So the degree of fluency of their mother tongue, the breadth of vocabulary they use, the grammatical structures that they use, all indicate possibly potential to be gifted and talented. But that's not the whole picture. Obviously, it's what they say as well as how they say it. I also liked plastic, because we had very interesting topics. For example, the lady gave us a topic to use some material from materials, or to paint something that wouldn't happen on a daily basis. Those were the most interesting objects. Um, I was um, feel really, really difficult when um, when Ms. Baker was um, interviewing me in Polish, because I was have to speak uh, five minutes without stop stopping, and uh, it was really, really funny. A jaka jest różnica między szkołą angielską a szkołą polską? Zależy, ponieważ w jednego dnia mieliśmy od 8 rano do 14.25, a mieliśmy też tak, że szliśmy na 9.25 i kończyliśmy o 11.35. Okay. Dziękuję bardzo. I'm going to show you a picture to start off with. If someone keeps their ear to the ground, do you know what they do? Is it that, that they're listening for every little sound? They're listening for every little sound and figuratively they might be looking for every... Every clue. Every clue. Does anybody, can anybody guess what she's doing? My parents, they don't say something like as typical as like you hit the nail on his head because like that's something that would not come in our like normal conversation with my mum. And also it's like you have to have a background knowledge about it, like British point of view, if you get me. And that I don't have. Match any of the yellow to the literal meaning in blue. Nine Orange are a mixed ability class. They're taught in as a tutor group for English. 29 of them are classified as being at some sort of language learning stage, though many of them that's because they've lived in England all their life, but there's another language spoken at home. Delia is an advanced language learner. Shamarke and Yaya are um, almost at that stage, but they still have a few bits of fine tuning to do. What's that one? I'll wash my hands on it. That's like, I don't want to be involved in this anymore. Yeah. So can you find the literal meaning? If I said, use your loaf, why is that difficult? Why is that difficult? Say like there was one that said something about loaf. Loaf was just like a random word there. And I thought it had something to do with... Um, bread. Yeah, <laughs> bread. Right. This soon gave Colleen an idea of how bloodthirsty the paparazzi were. They loved building you up, making you not seem more mere mortal, but then just as quickly demolishing your foundation with explosive slander. Both Colleen and I are like the talent latest attractions in a zoo, watched on by prying eyes of the media attempting to snag a front page headline. Excellent. When you talk it, it just gets on the tip of your tongue that you'll start speaking it a lot. So, but when you write it, you have to re remember it, which I find difficult. I find it easier when I've heard something. A lot of times, I've come across it a lot in not just my year 11s, year 10s. It comes to exam times and the questions are stated in such a way. Simple word that we think of simple as very or lesser will really comes a stumbling block to pupils. If they don't know the word and they're in an exam, there's nothing they can do about it. Before the exams, um, when I used to like, look at a question, and when I, whenever I, I never used to get the um, words, I used to like guess it because I don't know. But now I know it, so it's so it's better. Okay. So radio waves by mobile bars can heat up body. It's helped me with doing the academic words because before in class when when the teachers used to explain stuff, I didn't really understand it. When they used to use all these big words, sir came and he taught us about the words and how and what they mean. 
then it's helped me in lessons because now I can answer questions and with my homework as well. And in, 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 in exams, I don't have to miss.